Hey everybody and welcome to the weekly scopes, 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 scopes from the 22nd to the 28th of October. So today the moon's north node goes retrograde, so this gives us a chance to find purpose and direction in our lives. It helps us kind of hone in, zero in in our karmic lessons and spiritual growth, but it can also intensify emotions and we may become more restless as we confront our old past patterns, behaviour for um, relationship patterns and habits. So the best use of this energy is to take time out to self-reflect, heal and continue to start the work of letting go of old patterns that hold you back. Also today there's a first quarter moon, so this is a good energy to use this week to take action and make kind of progress towards achieving your goals. It brings a surge of energy and motivation and although there may be some hurdles to overcome if you keep focus, you can really sort of like um, make, um, as I said, good progress on um, you know projects, whether you're starting new ones or continuing old ones and tackling any tasks or conversations and stuff like that that you've been putting off and um, this energy just allows you to be more determined and persistent. On the 23rd of October the moon void of course starts at 3.27am. The moon also enters Aquarius at 11.53pm as well so when the moon's in Aquarius it allows us to be more creative, more open-minded and um, also be more social. Also we may you know join or start social activist um, groups, try to bring quality into our lives, um, you know, sort of disputes, join groups and organisations and stuff like that. But the negative is we may become more emotionally detached and unpredictable. The best use of this energy is to use it for brainstorming, networking and exploring unconventional ideas. On the 24th of October, nothing happens. On the 25th of October, the moon void, of course, starts at 10.52 a.m. Um, this is a time when some astrologers um, say that you should put off certain things and not do certain things. The moon also enters its gibberish moon phase um, today at 1.23 p.m. So this adds to the energy of this week of allowing us to be more motivated and productive. It can also intensify our emotions and restlessness. To make the most of this moon phase, it's ideal to focus on our work goals and um, sort of like set new goals as well, explore our emotions, discuss with others, change your routine and stuff like that to become more efficient, focus on your emotional, psychological and physical well-being as well. On the 26th of October, the moon enters Pisces at 1.28 a.m. When the moon's in Pisces, it makes us more emotional sensitive and can increase our intuition and make us more empathetic as well. But on the downside, because Neptune rules Pisces, it can make us more delusional, make us want to escape into drugs and alcohol, increase our addictive thought patterns and other addictive behaviours as well. But the best use of this energy is to focus on our artistic and creative expression and projects, um, our spiritual practices, self-care activities as well as self-reflection. On the 27th of October there's nothing to report. On the 28th of October the moon enters Aries so this can make us more bold and assertive making it a perfect time for taking initiative and starting new projects as well. On the negative end it can make us more impulsive and increase our sort of like emotions as well and can make us you know say things we don't mean and do actions that we may come to regret so just try and um, you know watch out for making hasty decisions and taking you know hasty actions that can cause conflicts. The best use of this energy is to embrace it in a warrior tackle challenges head on assert your individuality and go after your goals with um, determination as well the moon also enters retrograde so this helps us to you focus on finding or continuing working towards um, being our authentic selves also use it for spiritual evolution and personal growth as well it can bring um, intense emotions and tests that demand we release our old patterns and embrace new patterns 
paths. It's an ideal energy to use to, um, you know, self-reflect, set intentions and align with your authentic life's purpose. Also today, there's a lunar eclipse, um, super moon annual eclipse. Um, check out the separate audio for more about that as well. So yeah, that was the weekly scope, 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 scope from the 22nd to the 28th of October.